I mean, this conflict is terrible, and I've been educating myself on the nuances of the Middle East by watching a constant stream of atrocities on X for about eight hours a day. Jesus. Well, I guess I don't have to. I'm not in politics or a journalist or anything. That is a corpse. This is the worst one I've seen on X. Actually, this is Rotten.com. <sighs> sort of interchangeable at this point. I mean, this is how you get to the bottom of things. Someone on the internet says, look at these dead babies. Then you say, well, why don't you look at these dead babies? Then they come back at you and say, why don't you look at these dead babies? Mom, I gotta put you on hold. The new corpse just dropped. I'm gonna call you back. That triggers emotions, which uh. are actually connected to your frontal problem solving cortex. I mean, not a lot of people know that. Oh my God. You know, one of the problems is that people only want to post the dead babies from their side. So you do need to make an effort to follow lots of different people from all over to make sure you're getting all the dead babies. It's hard. I mean, some of the dead babies I was looking at turned out to be fake, so now I'm make sure that I'm cross-checking across multiple sources to make sure that I'm authenticating the dead baby. Otherwise, you could run the risk of getting emotional for the wrong reason. That is an atrocity. Other times, you'll think you found a corpse, and then it turns out it was from another year or a different war altogether. One of the corpses I was looking at turned out to be AI, and then after further research, some people are saying it's not AI, so at this point, I'm only allowing myself to get 50% emotionally invested into that one. I'm gonna send that one to everybody. None of us in the posting and consuming war corpses community escapes without falling for a hoax or two at some point. A lot of people aren't cut out for this game, so they've been blocking me, especially since most of my social media following is just friends, family, or people from my softball league. Not everyone's interested in in-depth Middle Eastern analysis. Okay, taking a break here. All right, back to work. Other people are doing research on the history of the conflict, figuring out what might be able to happen from where we're at now. If that works for them, fine. But for me, I have all the information I need right here by watching these corpses, letting them sink in emotionally to figure out what should be done. That is gruesome. Apparently Joe Biden said he was gonna post 40 new dead babies, and then apparently they said they're not gonna post 40 new dead babies. So I haven't been able to find those, not for lack of trying. I've been scouring the internet, refreshing all the different pages that post this type of gore. You do not wanna see my search history right now. If if you're interested in educating yourself, I could send you a list of people that have the good shit. Uh, well, not, not the good shit, but like the, just, you know what I mean, the best videos of corpses. If I'm being honest with you, I still don't really know what's going on with this whole conflict, but I do know that I'm feeling pretty psychopathic. Yeah, I used to actually be pretty into snuff films, but I kind of prefer this since it's helping.